Hello, today I'm going to show you filters in Microsoft Project for the web. For this presentation I created a very simple project which, uh, with four phases and each phase has design, development, testing and done and each of those uh, tasks are placed in proper uh, bucket which can be seen here. So all design tasks are here, all development tasks are here, all testing tasks are here and all milestones are here. And of course I can go to timeline and I can see my timeline here. Okay, now suppose that we have a number of tasks, not only four phases with 21 tasks, but let's say hundreds of tasks. Sometimes it will be difficult to uh, uh, find what exactly you want. So for this purpose is filter here. But before that, let me, let me say that uh, phase one is uh, completely finished. And let's say that phase two is just started, let's say 50% of design and let's say 50% of development and 50% of testing, just for presentation case. Now, I want to find something. Let's say we have a hundred of tasks. I'm going to hit the filter once again here, filter, and now I can choose keyword. Let's say design. I will see all design tasks. Let's say that I want to have done. So I will have all my milestones because all my milestones have word done inside of the task name. Let's say that I want to say just phase, okay, one, everything is here. Phase four, everything is here. And that's not all. Let's say that I want to see all my design tasks, but which are not started. I can choose here and I will see that phase three and phase four are not started yet because they have 0% of completeness. I'm not going to uh, uh, deselect not started and let's see design tasks which are in progress. Oh, phase two design tasks is in, pro uh, is in progress. Let's say which one of those are completed. Phase one design is completed, but I can do more. I can say I want to see all my design tasks which are not started and in progress. Okay, so I can, I can combine whatever I want. I can say I want to see my design tasks which are not started, phase three design, phase four design, and who are started. And that means in progress. Let's say I want to not start it in completed or just in, uh, uh, better in progress and completed. So phase one design is completed and phase two design is uh, uh, in progress. So I can do a lot of things here, but of course it can be done also on uh, other two tabs. On board I can go to filter and I can say the same, same thing, design, okay, and I can say not started or not started and in progress or just complete it. But I when I'm in completed, I will see here that all my tasks which are not completed are disappeared. So to see completed task, you should hit, hit here and you can see that design is completed. Or let's say I want to see all my tasks which are in progress. I can go here and I will see that phase two design is in progress, but if I clear the filter, I will see all my tasks which are in progress. 
So let's go back here to grid. Once again, filter all my start way, uh, uh, which are in progress. I will now go to timeline and I will have the same thing. Okay? Why? Now my filter window is closed. And in some cases, if, so, if you jump back, if you close your project and jump back, you can find yourself surprised. What is this? What is this? I know that I build a schedule with four phases and I have only phase two with only design development and testing. Where is my phase two done? For that case, always look in filters. You will see that you have one filter here and now you should go here and if you want to see all your tasks again you should say clear all or deselect here i could have let's say done if i close here i will have done but still if i want to clear the filter i have go here and say clear all okay and that's it ladies and gentlemen that's how you can filter your tasks in every single tab using Microsoft Project for the web. Wait, this is not all. I showed you how to filter your tasks by name. But what about if I want to see which tasks are assigned to John? I just can put John here and I will here uh, uh, see here all tasks which are assigned to John and not that's not all I can say I am interested in John's tasks which are not started yet and I will have it here and and now really for the end if I go back I will see here two filters what does it mean two filters if I Deselect not started, so I have only filtered the project by John, okay, by us and E. I will see that this is only one filter. If I say I want John's tasks, which are completed and let's say in progress, I will see those tasks here. And if I close this window, I will have three filters. Why three? Once again, because First filter is John. I want to see John's tasks. Second filter is in progress. And third is completed. So John's tasks which are in progress and completed. If I just delete John's, John as a, uh, from filter, I will see all tasks which are in progress and completed. And that means that I have two filters. And finally, I can clear all filters. So... If you have a huge project, you can easily find what you want using filters with grid inside grids, board and timeline. That's all for today. Thank you very much. Has, have a nice day.